Welcome back to this segment of Remedies for the Remnant. Another quick glimpse at the wonder of God's healing ways that He offers His sincere followers through the Word and the spirit of prophecy. Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. The New King James Version translates verse 34 like this, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient, sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Have you ever worried? We're not to let the future with its hard problems, its unsatisfying prospects, make our hearts faint, our, our knees tremble, our hands hang down. Let him take hold of my strength, says the Mighty One, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me, Isaiah 27, 5. Well, well Dan, uh, what's the key to experiencing this kind of heavenly, peace-filled journey? Those who surrender their lives to his guidance and to his service will never be placed in a position for which he has not made provision. Whatever our situation, if we are doers of his word, we have a guide to direct our way. Whatever our perplexity, we have a sure counselor. Whatever our sorrow, bereavement, or loneliness, we have a sympathizing friend. Wow, isn't that beautiful? That's wonderful, but what if I make a mistake, Dan? I, I, what then? I read on. If in our ignorance we make missteps, the Savior does not forsake us. We need never feel that we are alone. Angels are our companions. The Comforter that Christ promised to send in His name abides with us. There are no difficulties which those who trust in Him may not overcome. There are no dangers which they may not escape. There's not a sorrow, not a grievance, not a human weakness for which He has not provided a remedy. And I say, praise God. You know, I'm so grateful for these healing thoughts. What about you? This is part of what our loving God is trying to tell us in Isaiah 42, 16, where he says, And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Friends, won't you tune in again? for another segment of Remedies for the Remnant. God bless you as you consider these healing thoughts.